Well, President Trump received campaign endorsements from several police groups when he promised to take a tougher approach to crime. Today, he followed through by signing three new executive orders, but it's the third one that's on the minds of local law enforcement here in the Valley. Very important. All very important. This was President Donald Trump's reaction after he signed the executive orders shortly after Jeff Sessions was sworn in as attorney general. They uphold a campaign promise he made to cut crime in the U.S. We are a thin blue line protecting our citizens against the criminal element. And if President Trump's actions today can increase and enhance penalties for longer prison terms against those kind of folks that will assault and kill a police officer, um, personally and professionally, I'm all for it. The president says the new round of orders are designed to restore safety in America. He also directed the Department of Justice to implement a plan to stop crimes against police officers, something local police are all for. You know, with this order, uh, I think anybody can agree whether you have an R next to your name or a D next to your name that uh, anytime you're stiffening or increasing uh, the penalty and prosecution of somebody who commits a crime against law enforcement, I think it's a great thing. I couldn't be happier for that. But it's the third order signed today that will create new federal crimes and increase penalties for crimes committed against law enforcement officers. However, the order never states exactly what those increased penalties will be. But we take that oath to serve our communities and, and whether we make the ultimate sacrifice it's something we've accepted. We don't want to happen, but I mean, we're here to protect our communities. According to the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, there were 135 officers killed in 2016, up 10% from the previous year. Those are the people that protect all of us. They're the ones that keep the peace. Uh, they risk their lives. So, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm grateful, you know, to the president for that. Reporting in Mahoning County, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News.